Well, I'm getting married in a few minutes. I'm really doing this. I don't know how any of you may have felt, so those of you who have been married before, on what you felt like this day. It's taken a lot of work. I'm finally here, the day finally came. And I wanna thank you for being here because if you're watching this, you're here celebrating this with Ashley and I. And we're so glad that you took your time, used the gas in your cars to come here and physically be here to support us. And I just want to thank you so much for doing that. I know marriage is a big step. I wanted to prepare myself because there's a lot of things that I don't know. There's some men in my life who have uh, played a big role in my perspective and my view of marriage. Some of those guys have been Mark Driscoll, Perry Noble, Clayton King, and just some of the things that they have talked about in terms of marriage has really helped me, given me a perspective, a godly perspective on what it means to serve my new wife, Ashley, how to serve her like Christ served and loved the church. And the Bible says that as Jesus loves and serves the church, so the man as the covenant head is to similarly lovingly lead his wife so that she flourishes and grows in the grace of God. You need to love her like Christ loved the church. You need to take responsibility like Jesus took responsibility. You need to pursue her. You need to invest in her. You need to care for her. You need to cherish her and nourish her with the grace that God gives you. Every man wants to tell his wife that. If you believe in me, if you've got my back, if you're my biggest fan, if I know that you're with me heart and soul, bring on hell. Send the demons after me. Bring on the devil himself. I am unstoppable when I know that you're with me. Pray in front of your family. Some of you say, I don't know how to. Then pray bad. Right? Be honest. Have a Bible. Open it up. Let him see dad open the Bible and submitting to the word of God. Because your husband needs to know more than just you loved him. He needs to know why. He needs to know how. 
And all of us married men, all of us in this room probably would have to say, if not in this season, at some season in our life, we took our wives for granted and we stopped pursuing them. Like if, we, if, if men would pursue their wives after marriage the way they did before marriage, divorce just wouldn't happen. But women, you want to divorce proof your marriage? You make sure that your husband never has to crave verbal affirmation from other women. You want to divorce proof your marriage? You want to have a God honoring Christ centered marriage? Then you practice physical intimacy beyond just sex, holding hands, cuddling, making out, kissing, laying on the couch together, watching a movie. You keep him satisfied at home so he never has to seek satisfaction sinfully. Clayton King wrote a book on marriage, 12 questions to go over before you get married. So Ash and I read that before I even proposed to her or even, you know, we even got that far because if I was heading for marriage, I wanted to make sure I knew what I was getting into, what all it entailed, you know, little things you wouldn't think about, maybe little quirks about the person that may, you know, just drive you crazy or things that you didn't know, things you didn't think about, like in terms of finances, how are we financially? Are we in debt? How's this going to play a role in our marriage? And it was a big help to us. And I even got to actually meet Clayton King, the author of that book. Uh, hey to Ashley. I'm Ashley. I'm here with uh, Clayton. The what? book we read is the author right here. All the stories. Yeah, we read about right here. What's up, Ashley? You're marrying this guy, and that's good because he's extremely handsome and he smells really good. So, marry him. I think I think you should. I mean, I'm not saying anything other than if I was a girl, I'd probably I'd probably look twice oh, at him because he's kind of cute. I'm just saying, if I were a girl. Okay, I've said way too much. Goodbye. All right. Thank you, Clayton. Appreciate it. Man. You're welcome. All right. Or, or just celebrate him publicly. Listen, when my wife posts a comment on Twitter about me or something I've done, I will drop everything I'm doing to go home and work on the honeydew list. I don't know what it is about men, but I'm telling you women, when you publicly celebrate us, there, it's like a, somebody flips a switch inside of us and we will do everything we can to show you how much we appreciate that. What's the one thing I could do right now to either as a single prepare me for marriage so that scary scenario doesn't play out or as a husband or a wife that would make me a better spouse, not only to my husband or wife, but one that God could be proud of. So to get to this point, for Ashley and I, I had to get a ring. I didn't ask anybody for any help. I just went in, kind of hoping I guessed her ring size correctly. And so I went in, I got a ring, and I was like, all right, I want to propose in a very unique way. So me being a video guy, doing lots of video editing, I knew I wanted to do it in a theater, a movie theater, kind of show a trailer. And you know, I looked around at a lot of other theaters um, only one would let me do it, and it was at the Lorraine Palace Theater. And I know it, it would be a special place because I know Ashley has had plays there before. The movie that was playing was War Horse. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie War Horse. I'm not going to give a great review on it. I'm just saying don't get attached to anybody in that movie. That's all I'm saying. So, oh man, what a horrific movie to put her through, to watch that whole thing before I was gonna propose to her, I'm like, oh my goodness, she's gonna walk out of this movie and it's gonna ruin everything tonight. The week before, they, were, they only play one movie at the Lorraine Palace Theater, and the movie before, the week before, was actually Star Wars. I was hoping to be Star Wars, I love Star Wars, but didn't happen. So War Horse was the movie that we saw. And at the end, I had to try and convince her to stay after the credits. Since I got to be an extra in the new movie coming out, The Avengers, coming out September 25th, I try to convince her, oh, there's something at the end that you need to see. So even my, I, I called family, friends, they were waiting out in the hallway uh, before the movie even started. I actually went to the bathroom in the middle. I really did have to go to, but it was a great chance to get away because I hooked myself up with a wireless microphone underneath my shirt so the video camera would capture everything that, that we were saying. And so, you know, I had family and friends listening in on headphones, you know, through the movie. And during the credits, Ash and I were sitting there and she had to go to the bathroom and I said, like, no, you can't because I knew there'd be people out there that she would probably see, but she didn't have her contacts or glasses on. So 
She didn't see anybody when she went there and I was freaking out, like, please don't let this ruin anything. We're here at the end. Uh, there has to be something. I'm gonna laugh if there's not. <laughs> I mean, if there is something, that's great news for you. Can we like pretend like we're walking out so that we don't look like creepers? No, I promise you. I promise. Can we go now? No, hold on. There's supposed to be something happening. Nothing was happening. Nobody would press play. So actually, the camera guy, Brandon, he went up into the booth and pressed play for us, and that's when it started. It was July 4th that we went to see fireworks. <laughs> it pretty much started from there. Her out. <laughs> what will she say? <laughs> We're going to do this the right way. Study her. Know her. Men, at the end of the day, and this is for married men too, are you willing to fight for the heart of the woman that you say that you love? I think about her all the time. You've got to fight to make her feel special. <laughs> She's worth it. You gotta be willing to fight for her. So, you think she's gonna say yes? We're about to find out. Spend the rest of your life with me. Follow Jesus and do exactly what he wants. Yeah. Will you marry me? Oh, yes! Six on the second hand to New Year's resolution. There's just no question what this man should do. Take all the time lost, all the days that I cost. Take what I took and give it back to you. Gonna get married. Here we go.